Yo, what it do? It's your boy Sidney Tarver, man, from the NFL, owning my own trucking company, People First Logistics. You dig what I'm saying? Got a meeting. We mobile today. It's raining outside. Rain, sleet, snow, sunny. We gonna get to the money. You dig? But you know, I got a meeting coming up in about five minutes. I had to come check on the drivers. Come check on some situations. You dig what I'm saying? Look at that book right there, though. I like that. That's me. But yeah, got a few things to handle before I go on a business trip tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I got a call coming up. I'm gonna let you see the call and how we do a little business meeting, see what these people are always trying to sell. So I'm gonna make a business play. I'm always meeting with new people to try to build my network. Dig what I'm saying? But right now, I'm finna holler at you about why I decided to quit my job and pursue business. You dig? If you know me, you already know. I told you I went to the NFL, got cut, had to go work in corporate America for 9, 10 years. But something with having a boss and letting somebody control and asking when I gotta go to the bathroom and only getting 14 days a year off didn't sit well with me. I tried to be that corporate person. I never even made $100,000 in corporate America. You know what I'm saying? That didn't sit well with me. I was trying to be good at corporate and do my job good. It seemed like the harder I did and tried, the less more resistance I got. And I wasn't no kiss ass, politicking, suck up type of kid. Like, I ain't never like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm used to being around the savages. Like football, dog eat dog. The best always get to the top in football, but in corporate, if your boss don't like you or all that, you gotta play too many political games and I'm not with that. I don't even vote for presidents and I'm not into politics. So the best of the best always gonna win from where I'm from or you get a chance to crush them. See, in corporate, you can't really crush your people because they'll cry to HR, you know how it go. They play the political game. You dig, they try to out think you and outsmart you and out network you which is cool but I'm used to mano e mano you dig I'm an apex predator so that's why I decided to pursue business really for the freedom time the financial time and no cap on my salary you know what I'm saying time freedom financial freedom and no cap with wi-fi how it is now you don't need to that's old you don't got to work eight hours a day you got to put that work in don't let me get confused when i first started my business i was working 16 20 hour days but if you get it going and automated like corporate no matter it's hard to make your salary go up in corporate so you know what i'm saying you might get a two or three percent raise every year so it's gonna take you 30 years to go from fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars unless you're a doctor lawyer or providing that type of stuff you know what i'm saying so corporate is too many games in politics i can put that same eight hours a day into my own business and you might not make no money and you taking the risk but eventually if you keep going back at it and knocking the door down you'll make some of yourself so that's why i quit man i had to get out of that corporate pyramid scheme luckily i didn't pay for college but i couldn't imagine paying a hundred thousand for college and not even getting a job that make a hundred thousand when i get out it don't make sense. It's kind of reverse pyramid scheme. College is for networking. Corporate America is for networking as well. If you go into corporate thinking you're going to win because you're the best in this, the best don't always win. The best networker in corporate America. So that's my advice to people in corporate America. Build your network. Meet people. Try to meet your the owner of the company. Try to meet the CEO, CFO, the, the top level people. Try to get in with them and get good and show what you can do to them. But regular proving yourself to your boss who over you, like you playing it too small in the corporate game. And it's, it's not about that. They wanna see, most time in corporate, when you do good stuff, your boss steal your work and present it as his, but that's how the game go. You know what I'm saying? So try to meet the high level people at your job if you work in a corporate job. Get in with the vice presidents, the directors, the boards, the CFO, the C-level suite. Get in with them and try to put the work in and see what they need. You know what I'm saying? Instead of politicking with the low level managers, it's not even about that. Get noticed, stand out, what you doing? Dress fly, you know what I'm saying? Those are some of the things I would tell you to do in corporate America to advance, but I had to get out of it for myself. I was giving them my all and wasn't getting far. Felt like I was on a treadmill, so I, you know what I'm saying? Took a leap of faith, started my own business. It's rewarding, you know what I'm saying? Some days harder than others, but Overall, my life been better since my four years of doing my business, I done learned more in my 30 years. And my 10 years in corporate America has been way better. You know what I'm saying? Rain, sleet, snow, sunny, blood, sweat, and tears. I love what I'm doing, so I can't complain. I don't have no regrets. But you about to get on this Google Meet and see what's going on, man. We live from the truck, man. It's raining outside. I'm here to get y'all some content, man. Exclusive content, though. We getting it in. But yeah, corporate America, escape the rat race. You more than just a job going somewhere to... What's up? What it do? 
Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. For sure. How's the month been? Just working. That's coffee. For sure. What's going? I've had a long day personally. I what? just launched my digital course day. How's it going? It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah, it's been good. I have 80 email subs sequence going, so that's what's set with the pro version and my mentorship program. Oh, you. Who, me? I'm out here with my truck drivers in the truck. I'm talking to my truck drivers just out here with them on the laptop in the van and shooting content today. One thing I love about just going through your account is how you about treating like, and mm -hmm. how you best yourself or people and coming to people. Also, your transformation is crazy going from the not being drafted in the NFL to that script. Yeah, all I know is to keep going. You hear me? Yeah, it's, it's, it's not that clear. My Wi-Fi might. Hold on, let me switch connections. Let me see what that'll do. How about that? Is it back? Yeah, it, it's better. It's that might better. be better for sure. So, when did you start building in Brandon X? Uh, I started all this social media like a year ago. This is my year in. I haven't. I just started a year ago, probably. It's crazy that you're calling me a professional and you have like three million views on YouTube, plus all those even subs. That's crazy. Yeah, just learn. I bitch be hustling and trying stuff. You learn at a different game than the real world truck business type game, you know? You mentioned you want to take your community program for, from five people to a hundred people. Yeah, I like so is your plan. There are 40 people yeah. right now. Yeah, trying to get it to a hundred. So what's stopping you from, what do you think is stopping you from getting that figure to a hundred? Probably just got to run ads or put more content or bring more attention, drive more traffic to the links in what I do. Yeah, um, what did I want to ask? So are you planning to also get people from X to? Yeah, my YouTube to... X, see YouTube is my main platform. That's what I've been doing, driving the most traffic with, but X is a powerful platform. So I'm trying to really get that going as well. Yeah, what I'm good at is brand building on X, mm -hmm. funneling that audience to do exactly what you want. Let's say it's getting more people to your community, that's what I do. When it comes to YouTube, I have no clue about how YouTube works. Right. So what I do mostly is I help my clients with with branding, content. I mentor them with what they can write, like of it, and then funneling that audience to sell to. Yeah. So like, let's say you want this specific, you want to talk to a specific group of people that are struggling with the 95, like you mentioned, I give you the templates in which you can use to talk directly to those people, build an audience, and then funnel them to your email list and get them to your community. The program also is involves this. It also involves you just selling to the current people that you have on your email list without having to get more people from X. Because just based on your account, you'll have to play a long-term game to get more people. Because like you're at 500 people. I love how you talk about your story, how you talk about your values, but you don't talk directly to those people, the people's problems for them to be like them. I want to listen to this guy and I want to learn from this guy. It's more of you selling your story, which is extremely powerful, but then you need to add something else on top of it. Yeah, I'm getting going. That's how I just started, like different this week, a week or two ago. Yeah, only been on X two weeks. Nah, it's writing my tweets a different form. I've been on there a year. I was just dropping yeah, Opus yeah. clip. The same thing I post on YouTube, TikTok, I was just posting general shit, but now yeah. I know how to dial it in. I'm just getting that's, it better on it. That right there is like with intention, which is also powerful. Yeah, I'm trying to get so better. So where would you say you are right now? Huh? Your current position with the platform or- I mean, we did in a, I just got a hundred followers in a week just doing the new stuff I've been doing. So I've just only been yeah. going a week on how I'm doing it. So I just got to keep going. Yeah, the goal, let's say in, in six, 12 weeks. I'm trying to make 100,000 a week. I don't really care how many followers and subscribers I get. Like, they don't really mean nothing to me. Yeah, how much are you making currently? Off the internet? Mm, like community, I got to think maybe, I don't know, Shopify, maybe 5,000 a month, something like that, maybe. No, from your uh, school community. Oh, school community? I got 40 yeah. members, like $100 off school, but I got a Shopify selling merch. I got books. I book calls for 30 minutes, 100 and it's like the hour to talk to me. Like I got others consulting and trucking and stuff going. Yeah. Can you run me down through your community program? 
you said first start with how many people are in the program then how much you charge and just give me a round on right now um, friends and family in school is I think five dollars let me see how many members i got that's just start i'm gonna up the price on the school easily like getting it started you did yeah. uh, let's see i gotta see i got 48 members in my school paying five dollars a month yeah okay so you have more experience than me that's a fact yeah I only have like followers and I only have 300 email subs and I charge people 600 a month on a 12 week program to just mentor them on how they can monetize their brands. So I work with four people a month. So now I'm looking at, I'm just trying to see what I'm doing and what you're doing and I can see so much potential with just your community alone because you're telling me you only charge people five dollars a month right it's very easy to start charging people 600 to 800 a month if you get people in a uh, let's say a cohort like a group co coaching pro a group mentorship program where you can take them from where they are to where they want to be and mm. let's say you get it's easy let's say you get 10 people just promoting from your email list youtube at the school community you get 10 people that's 8k a month which is easy to do based on what you're telling me right for sure. I get what you're saying. I just got to move the price up. I could easily play with the price each and every day. Like, I already know how they go. Yeah. Do I yeah. feel like talking to people every day? I like getting on calls and talking with people all the Like, i rather sell products and stuff. Like, they don't, I don't like talking to people. Yeah. You know how many calls I offer in a month? What? Like, calls? No. How many calls I offer my clients per month? Oh, no. Nah. How many? No. Nah. Just four. Oh, that's pretty good. I only it's do two in my community. Yes, yeah, it's not really, not really uh, so much time from what you do, if you think about it. Yeah. Personally, that's what I can help you with. You do group calls? No. Right now, I haven't scaled enough to start doing group calls. So I work with people one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. That's why I was working on this course, so that I can be able to scale with time. Don't like... With, with group calls, you don't get to focus on each individual. That's from my perspective. Right. I don't get to focus on individual because I've only been running my mentorship program. This is the second month. And I like giving people as much value as possible by talking directly to them. So having a group call isn't really uh, for me. That's why I was working on this course to be able to scale up. Mostly for me, it's one-on-one -on -one calls. So each client gets to have one hour with me or 45 minutes with me a week. Nah, that makes sense, though. That might be a good program, yeah. though. Yeah. But you said, uh, how much you charge, you say? 800 a month for 12 weeks. Now, depending on also where you are and where you want to be. If I see where you are is going to take eight weeks, then there's no point for having a 12-week program. Yeah, I know 12, eight weeks out. I know where I, I know I got all the digital products. I got all the knowledge. Like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Does that sound for you? I don't know. Maybe, what a, I got 600 for a four week. Yeah. It's just got to see like, well, what you offering, what you going to set up for me? What could you do for me for $600? So for $600 is, I'm going to, so my question first is, do you have the tools to write authority content that will build your brand on X? I got some writers who do all that for me right now. You could probably talk to them. Yes, I have writers. Now, my second question is, do you have an offer that can help you scale in the next, because four weeks, let's... let's yeah, I got a trucking program weeks. offer. I got a $9,000 offer. I got unlimited. I got a from $9.99 offer to a $9,000 offer. Yeah. Okay, my question is, because what I'm trying to offer you, I'm, I'm trying to know if you want what I'm trying to offer you, which is to help you scale your community program, which you're charging for $5 a month. Mm -hmm. That's what I think you want now i want you to i'm already about to move the price like probably sunday i'm finna double it to fifty dollars a month like i'm gonna move it, the price up you know what i'm saying yeah i haven't even launched it that was just to get my friends and family in these are all my close friends these ain't even no internet strangers for real yeah because personally what i can help you with is to get more people in a coaching program where you're charging high tickets from 600 to to like a month yeah cool though how you gonna do you gonna make them a separate program from the people i already got yeah absolutely yeah the other thing is you're getting you're also funneling people from your email list to the program it's not just the people who are currently on school right because plus also think, thinking about it 
I usually have a 50% money back guarantee if you don't get, if you do the things I've told you to do and you don't get the results. And four weeks looks like a stretch. Feels like a, I'm going to stretch myself. So maybe six weeks. Like I got a real truck. I got 80 employees. Like I know slow moving, like the on point type stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like two really go. I got three million views on YouTube. YouTube way more serious at driving traffic than all. The, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the team. Like I didn't like that. You just gotta see me. What you you got me a specific plan of? I'm gonna do. We gonna do this, this, and this, and generate. Cause I'm looking for a hundred thousand off the internet. Ten thousand cool, but I could do that with these trucks. Like that's cool. Like I'm trying to get a hundred thousand dollars a month yeah. off the internet. So this is what I'm going to help you with. I'm going to help you have an offer that will scale your community program to five, ten people. That's what I can promise you in four weeks. Yeah. And that's so that you're going to charge them around six hundred to six hundred to eight hundred dollars a month. So if you get five people, that's five k a month just from those people. And that's something you can scale after four weeks. That's what I can promise you with. So first, the marketing material that leads to the offer, that leads to you getting people in the community program. You just got to make yeah. me a Google Doc or something and share me and show yeah. me, hey, yeah, we're yeah. going to do this, 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 and let me look at yeah. it. Yeah, so we just had a conversation. I usually have an offer where I'll send you everything we've discussed. For sure. Anything more you'd want based on X? 100,000, 500,000, big numbers. In revenue. Yeah. Now, if we were going to go the X route, that's going to take more time, which you don't have. Yeah. I know yeah, X is so gonna take I mean, take time to build, but you just gotta keep going on X, like. Yeah, like based on what you're telling me, you're not trying to invest in like a long-term program because if no. you were to go the X route, I would have signed you up for my mentorship program, which takes 12 weeks. Yeah, I'm 12. That's program. 90 days. I don't yeah. got 90 day run. Like, yeah. I'm all too deep in this. Yeah, exactly. yeah. So honestly, I think 800 is a good price, personally. You would price, of course. Yeah, you so. think that's a good price. Yeah, based on the return on investment that you're going to get. Why don't we, if you got a 50% half off, you might as well just do it for 400 then for four weeks, $100 a week. <laughs> and see where we get. If you're doing a 50% mm -hmm. off. Nah. I talk business. I, I get what you're saying. I, I know how to talk just like you yeah. know how to talk, my boy. Where you from? <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I'm Fairobi. I got some friends, a lot of my friends from Senegal and, and Ghana and Nigeria for sure. That's like in West. That's so far ahead, so far away. From, like, Ethiopia, all that. Yeah. I'm personally, I can, I can do eight, personally, I can do 800. You just said 600 earlier. <laughs> no, no, we said, like, best if I was to do 600, it doesn't make sense doing 600. That's why I'm trying to go for the 800. Based on one, the value I'm going to give you and the return on the investment that you're going to get. Yeah. Plus, I was telling you it's 800 because I have a 50% money back guarantee. If I was to go to 600, then I wouldn't have the guarantee. Hey, no guarantee. Just yeah, just give me what you got. I'm going to look at it and I'll let you know before the end of the day. Like right after what I get for $800, what you guarantee, 10 to 8K a month, whatever. Just write it out for me what you saying so I can sleep on it. Yeah. And then say, hey, yeah. all right. Yeah, so how many subs do you have on your email list? 35,000. Yeah. 35K. In your school community, you mentioned 48 people. Right. Yeah, so 48 people. How much time are you willing to invest to the people that are on your community a week? I give them two Just Zoom calls, two group Zoom calls a, week, a month. Two group Zoom calls. Can you push it to, pushing it to four stretch if you're charging them 800 a month? Bro, well, not for 800, but the currently people I got in that's paying $5, they might move it to one if you're paying five dollars like you know what i'm saying yeah but so yeah 800 yeah. before maybe group zooms yeah so 800 that's four um what are you running apart from that you could call with me for 300 an hour i got a book i'm an author i got a book i got a college speaking okay. course i speak to colleges and high school kids wow Three to colleges okay i got a mixtape coming wow. out Wow, we make music. I, I have music, but just from having music. Who are you supporting in the beef? Kendrick or Drake? Uh, I'm my own person. I, I don't care about that. I ain't picking no sides. They ain't paying me no money. They already rich.
<laughs> yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, one question I wanted to ask was, mm. what promise the people who you work with on the community program? What do you promise them? Because I'm also starting to see if if there's a project worth doing. I'm just getting them financial freedom. I'm selling freedom. Like if you and me, we free. Free. I can't take everybody don't want to start a truck comp conjure. Like everybody don't start a truck company. They just want to get their mind free, they time free. So mostly if they're selling to them specifically. They get the the act of me. I'm just giving them a hey, this week I might show you how to use AI in your business. This week I might show you how to shoot content on YouTube and get your YouTube monetized. This week, I might show you how to get on Twitter and do something. This week, I might show you a business move, how to get an LLC, how to do something. Every week is how I feel like, whatever I feel like teaching. Well, my question is, for your high ticket product, how many clients do you have for your high ticket service? I ain't got none, unless they book a call. I'm not trying to work one-on-one -on -one with people right now. Like, I don't, I'll, I got the offer, I just ain't put it out there. Because I don't feel like working with, I know how lazy people are. My, my my only problem is if I if I was going to work with you, I want us to work on something that. I got a high ticket people. offer for you though. I got a nine thousand dollar offer. What's the offer? Start a truck company. How to start a truck company? Okay, I'll start. Now I want to clarify this please, for me. My only problem is if you're going to get people on a community program because I'm going to help you build an offer that takes people for from four weeks to eight weeks where they'll have a certain result at the end of it and if you're telling people you'll show them twitter you'll show them track how to run a track business you'll show them all these different things then i don't think i'll be able to get you the results that we are talking about unless we laser focus on one specific thing that you can promise them how to get an amazon dsp but see that you got to have thirty thousand in the 700 credit score and do the application and amazon might not accept you Everybody can't do that. Yeah. So what what of emails do you send to your email list? Nine times out of ten, most of the time. I just started, but like how to free mindset. I went from the NFL to start my trucking company, join the community, look at my book, all yeah. that. Yeah. So Amazon DSP, what else do you think you can promise them at the end of, let's say, an eight-week program? I don't know. What do you think I should promise them? <laughs> So just to give you an example with me, I promise my clients that with you it's different because you're already making money. With me, I promise my clients you're going to make $2,000 at the end of the program. And let's say you're going to have 1,000 followers at the end of it. That's my promise. And that's what I give them. Yeah. Now, we're going to run our community this program. I love the mindset thing. And I would love us to like merge it something that's more powerful based on wealth. So yeah. if you can pick one thing that most of them have an interest in, apart from the mindset stuff, most like one that you talk about mostly on your on every other platform that you have, let's say if it's something to do with Amazon or running a track business, something you interest in and they can actually invest in. Then if we merge those two things and have a specific uh what's it called success metric that you can promise them, then it's easier to get those people in. Because if you're going to go the route of Hey, I'm going to give you this, this, and that. It's it's to do, on my perspective. Maybe maybe bucks on your end, but from how I'm looking at things, it's it's hard to sell ten different things at once. Yeah, for sure. My book called How to Start a Six Figure Trucking Business. Yeah. So I'll start. But you can't prom. How I'ma promise that motherfuckers don't know how to do that kind of shit. They don't got the effort it take to do no truck business. You. Okay, the thing is, the, the people I'm working with, some people don't implement the things I tell them. Some do. Right. Business and that's life. Fair. Not everyone is going to do everything that you promise them to do. Right. That you tell them to do. Yeah. That's life. Yeah. So I want you to also brainstorm on the, I love the mindset thing. I also want you to brainstorm on what you can deliver for them at the end of your program. Let's say I'll help you have the specific tools to run an Amazon DSP or I'll give you the specific tools that took me from this figure to this figure at the end of an eight-week program and I'm only taking in five people max. The program is closing in less than a week. If you want to be in the wait list, send me a DM or reply to this email and you have a specific offer that leads them directly there. That's what I can help you with. That's what I can promise you with. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Anything else?
Nah. Okay. It's honestly, it's it's a pleasure just talking to you because of the level of success that you have. I'm still getting started with this. I know I'm talking. I'm I'm not talking too much, and I'm saying too much stuff. It's just, nah. You it's do just, your thing. Yeah. Thank you. It's just the things that I've learned from the last six, seven months. Where did you think I was? You think I was from Africa? I don't know. Yeah. Where you from? Nairobi in Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Um. So we send you an offer almost immediately. All right. I just have one drafted right now. Then I'll send it to you. How amazing! So you said, okay, if we were to work together, what would be your success metric? What would make you feel like I never wasted my time? I got paid a hundred thousand. Okay, so if you is if you pay me eight hundred dollars and I don't make you a hundred k in four weeks, then I'll have to give you your money back. That's what I'm asking. Four hundred. You said four hundred back half off if you don't do it. That's cool. I think that's a good risk. Yeah. So we success metric for that for for you to get your four hundred dollars back. I gotta make fifty thousand. If you make me fifty thousand in four weeks, it'll be good. Mm, that's a lot. Hey, heavy is the crown, my boy. What do you think you can make by yourself without me? Just from that program. What program? Just from that community program. What do you think you can make? Oh, if I doubled up the price and went hard on the content, I probably do. It just depends on. I'm just going at my pace and what I feel like. Do. You got to think I still got 50 trucks, 80 employees over here. I can shut the laptop off and go work on these trucks and do what I do without the internet. Let's, let's do 10x of what you're paying me. What's that? So that's 800, that's 8K. That's 8K, that'll be lit if you can turn that up in four weeks, if you think you can do that. Yeah, it's also pushing myself to the limit to see what I can do. That's what so you it's, got it's to. Something new, something, it's something interesting and I'm willing to push myself to see. see to work with the best, you gotta be at your best when you're trying to work with the best. You can't come with no, the same stuff you giving yeah. to these, the rest of these folks. I'm a high level, yeah. like, I this shit yeah. 20, 20 a day, like it don't, that's easy. Yeah, you jump on a call with me. You just hit me in the DMs. I'm trying trying to learn. So if I meet new people, you know, I learn some new sauce. Yeah, I know you're humble. It's, it's commendable. I can learn from anybody. I don't know it all. Like, you know. Yeah, so an amazing day. It's 8 p.m. where I'm from. I think it's 2 p.m. or 1. 1.30. 1 we just getting started. Yeah. Been up which, since 5, 6 in the morning. <laughs> which state are you from? I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee, Texas. Nah, Tennessee is Tennessee. Texas is Texas. I have a, I have a friend who is from Chicago. Do you think of moving away from the States with time? Yeah, I can live anywhere. I don't live Las Vegas, Houston, Atlanta. I don't live, play football. In, I don't lived in 10 states already. Yeah, makes sense. What's the plan to, to like go to different country? Just on the same continent with time. Yeah. Just see that. I'm saying all my friends in Senegal, they got houses over here. They got houses in Senegal. They be back and forth wherever the Wi-Fi at. That's how we live wherever the Wi-Fi at. Take it easy. Yeah, yeah. Have an amazing day. I'm just, I'm just going to create a draft of what we've talked about. Then what? send it to you. You got my email? Um, Is it when you've booked a call with? Probably. Yeah, just send it over there or not. You got my Twitter to DM me, so you just hit me. Yeah, have an amazing day. All right, take Thanks. care, buddy. Have a great day. Yes, sir, Ski. <laughs> And that's how you have a business be, man. Everybody trying to sell you something, get over on you. What's your hustle at? Turn your hustle up. Grind and we on these business calls, man. Escape corporate America. Meet new people. The power of networking. And let's get it. Uh, it's like an kind of an exemption. Yeah. And we make sure that those are our energy vehicles. Yeah. Uh, not too bad. For sure. Say that again, I don't think I caught that first part, owner. We clean it up for DOT inspection. It's a big one every year. DOT inspection. The best fleet manager in the world, Jacob. Yeah. We clean in the vans for DOT. We like clean trucks. And this winter was a little bit brutal, so. It was, it was crazy. Yeah. Just walk all over it all playing around. No, we got to have everything. <laughs> crazy. Super dusty. Definitely. Yeah, we good to clean up today and we suit this out. Something easy, you know? Yeah. It's pretty much that's all I'm worried about is the trucks we keep. Yeah. Because uh, I'd rather have these at peak condition. Yeah.
compared to the one that says that redeployment, you know, the, don't worry about yeah, it. Right. <laughs> Just like they do it. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Get it done, and then you bounce back. That's it. We'll get there. We'll get there. No, that's how I feel, right? It's just like life. It's ups and downs, it's storms, it's sun. And learning first, you know, it's all learning. It's our first time doing this ever. <laughs> Every day is our first time. I feel like I'm born this. Yo, right. Shit, that's how I got into trucks. I bought a beater, I thought it was good. I tried to get it inspected, they were like, nope. Yeah. And then I had a, a place, they were charging me well over what I could be paying for a car. Right. So I said, you know what? Uh, let me just work on it. I started working on it, and then I started loving fixing cars. Yeah. Self taught. No school, you don't need school for all this stuff. You can, if you do it long enough, put your hours in, you can learn how to do anything. Absolutely. People always think you gotta be certified or get a piece of paper to make you feel like you qualify. That's yeah, like for real. It's, it's the mind, but for the most part, you don't need to go to school. No. Nah. You just, need, you just need to know what you're doing. Yeah. And from there, just learn it from somebody. You got to learn, mentor, hand. I'm learning from hands on. Like school was beating stuff from a. It was like that's not. You know how to do stuff. Exactly. Because you memorize. When I went to college, I went for IT. Yeah. I tried to do for computers. Yeah. And the guy, it was funny. He goes like, "Hey, let's turn the page." He starts stuttering. He starts flipping pages. Next thing I'll be like. Let's let's read this book. <laughs> he had this dude ask a question, some random kid, he asked a question, and the page, he goes like, hey, let's turn to page uh, 50, let's read from it. <laughs> it's like, hey, in case I can do it. <laughs> You're giving my money back. Yeah, exactly. Give my money back. So I just found out school wasn't worth it like that. You know, yeah. Uh, like you said, you know, learn from the elevator. Nah, for sure. I know people dropped out of school, ninth grade education, millionaires, billionaires. Yeah, you know, it's the it's, it's how you apply yourself in life. Like you, I know people who dropped out and never did anything that they like, but I know people who dropped out. I know people who went to college. They millionaires. I know people who went to college and wasted their time and their money. Like it's how you apply yourself to whatever. I agree. <laughs> I agree wholeheartedly. I mean, everybody's path different. Exactly. I mean, that's what I do. You know, like I don't want to stay. You know. No, nah, for sure. Yeah, I want to get myself to a newer level. That's what I'm trying to do. Take that's why you see me the internet recording no, how these no. people. I want to take it to a new level and take my people to a new level. We start. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, that's how it's cool. We can do something completely different exactly. in a month or something. Like, you know, I live like that. That's that's the way to live, man. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you wake up and be like, yeah, we're we're a tech company now. Everybody, get your computer out. Let's, <laughs> let's go do some <laughs> online. Everybody, work from home with your family. Yeah, that'd be. Let's sweet. just do this. Like, you know? There's a lot of options, you know. Real as well. Yeah. I, I remember, brother, we we did a full sad story when my wife left me. Yeah. She kind of threw me a bus with the court system and was like, hey, this house wasn't so good. I think me and my brother. I mean, up later. Yeah. It was me and my older brother. We spent a good month and a half. I got my apartment in living condition. Yeah. Went to court. The court was like, that is a beautiful apartment. They had no issues with my, my house. And you know, like, I was like, damn. Like, three grand for my floors, some right. for my fucking uh, walls, a new bathroom. Right. Uh, and that was a couple grand. I was thinking to myself, like, yo, real estate, if I could get an apartment, flip that shit. Yeah. You know, no, that's what it's called. You know how houses yourself, though? Uh, we did my, my little like little yeah. little little work. Yeah, hell yeah. No, my that's brother is a few. It is my brother. He he did plumbing. Yeah, and he so many like massive uh, apartment towns around yeah. Buffalo. Right. And you know he's something better. And you know I, I, I'll do. I'm not trying to change your situation. You know exactly. Everybody wanna. Everybody they deserve, but like you should elevate or get better every day. Oh, or, for sure. You know what I mean. And nobody wants to be stuck in the same position. Exactly. I mean, some people, like you said, you know, they, their minds aren't cut yeah. out for it. They'll go like, oh, well, I need this, I need that. Yeah. It's like, well, take the risk. You don't know if you don't take the risk. That's it. Like, I just, rich people go broke and homeless people go back rich again. Yeah, like, it's, it's whenever you like, it's exactly. all, you know. Exactly. Nobody, nobody above, nobody. It's just, even you. Yeah, exactly. It's it. Life, man. It is difficult, but, you know, what one day. Right. You know, it's easy, everybody would be, you exactly. know. Exactly. Yeah. Easy, easy, everybody would be doing what they do. Yeah. But I'm just mainly doing it for my kids, you know. Like, That's right, see. They deserve a better future than, than what I'm experiencing. Right. Like, like, they shouldn't exist. Yeah. Teach them. Just teach them. Yes, sir. They gonna see it, they know. Kids are smart. 
It's smart, man. <laughs> yes, sir. It's it's really smart and innocent, you know? Until yeah. they get corrupted and all that. But yeah, that's I mean, true. it's super innocent. It's watching iPads and speaking and watching shows. Yep. And listening to crazy with friends, fellas, and all. They might got a limit. <laughs> they got a limit as to how long they can be on it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you know when I I didn't really have none of that. Nah, who's outside? I oh, played outside. Oh, hell yeah, man! Hunt, home ball, bikes, and bikes to fucking God knows where. Right? <laughs> I didn't go seek or yeah, exactly. Hell yeah. Being regular, digital, you know. Right. Oh, no. I don't know. I like the internet. It's like the internet. 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 I gotta admit, it is probably one of the better experiences I've ever experienced, you know? That's funny. Like guns and stuff. I don't, I'm just hunting, but I like guns and shooting, so it's, it's kind of the same, but not. Oh, no, yeah, it is the same. <laughs> I mean, all, all the difference is, is you're bringing down a deer. You know, that's different. You're as long as you're using something. it for food and not just wasting the kill, like, I feel like, yeah, it's yeah. Like, you know uh, what I'm mean? doing it for a trophy, but if you like, really eating and yeah. thankful for the fish or whatever you're doing, like, that's cool, but you just going on kill sprees for no yeah. reason and wasting it all, uh, you know what I mean? Well, see, hunters now, it's not like that. Like, uh, for every hunter that's out of here, yeah. you know, like, they'll testify for it. You know, like, we're conservation. Like, well, we we don't want over hunt. I mean, right. it's nice to fucking shoot a fucking deer yeah. that has huge antlers, you know, that'd be yeah. awesome. But for the most part, you get uh, one buck, Two dough if you get it. Uh, yeah. those, uh, sometimes they do some kind of ticket where yeah. you get one more extra, right. and then you get a black bear that you can get. Yeah. I mean, the area that you hunt, you could see something you don't even can see. You could see, like me, for example, I didn't see nothing until the very end. Yeah. It was just like, as I'm about to leave, like, I'm about to call it a night, it's late as hell. Right. And, you know, like five minutes to shoot, so I was like, I'm not about to see nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I was walking away. I wanted to make sure I was going the right way. Yeah. So I got my phone. I'm looking at the GPS. I put my phone down like this. I look up, and there's a, a deer just walking this way. I got scared as hell, so I was like, "Oh shit!" I got to shoot that. Five minutes to shoot. Yeah. So I put my rifle, and I guess it was the first time in jitter. I took a shot and completely missed. Yeah. <laughs> so I got really upset about that. I was like, "Damn it!" Yeah. But next time, sure, that bitch is going down. For sure, that's funny. I like that. Well, hunting, you know, it's it's, it's a feeling. Like you're you're out sitting there, you know, like. It's amazing too, like yeah. it's, it's a different feeling. That's what I like, nature. I love that shit. I love nature, being in it, being immersed, leaving my phone on silent exactly. or in the car, right. or only using it for GPS or when I need it. Yep. Half the time it don't even work when I be in the places yeah. I'm at anyway, so it don't even matter. <laughs> right. Fucking services are ass. And you know, sometimes I'll be in sticks, and I'll lose service entirely. Yeah. I'll be like, damn it. <laughs> for sure, Verizon yeah. definitely don't. It worked by my house in the fall, Verizon don't work. Really? Apparently, yeah, that's some bullshit. Yeah. I gotta get on that bullshit out of it. That is all. Nah, it, be, it is what it is. It is right. It's just been for me not to talk that much. I don't like talking on the phone too nah. much no more. Yeah, I like what you. <laughs> I don't really like, you know, uh, like you said. It has nah, I like it. Like, it's easier. It but does, but but for the most part, for me, it takes away from a lot of things. Yeah. You know, like with the kids. Yeah. Some kids be on their iPads, Xbox, PlayStation. Yeah. You know that instead of you know how interactive. Exactly, you know, like always outside. How you grew up, you said you was always outside. Yeah, I played sports. I didn't, yeah, yeah, you, you, football you didn't get you on a computer until even in college. I didn't like being on a computer. I couldn't get on a computer until I started like working for Amazon. <laughs> like probably in 2015, I had to use the computer every day for work. So Microsoft Excel started doing that and just, but this worked. Like when I was home, I didn't get on a computer. I only got on a computer when I was at work. But then, like, I don't know, just. Like again, I only use the computer for work or when I need to learn something or watch a YouTube video that's or that's, that's a good mindset to have. Yeah. You're not, you're not all that much. The phone, I don't really like to text that much. Like I'm not a back and forth texter. I just what we gotta do or send a picture and get it there or whatever, but right. I can't sit and text for an hour straight, like yeah. just call me if we gotta like you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah I exactly. I can't like, keep texting, know. like that's crazy. All that. Everybody busy. We all busy. <laughs> People attention spans though, like that. the social got us in like 60 second video. Yeah. We can only be focused for like 60 and then we just back like uh. something different, right? Yeah. Yeah. Forget to text people back, forget to call people back. I write an email, draft and stop like in the middle of what I'm doing, because I don't remember. We so distracted. Attention all over. Yeah, I think sometimes the problem is too. Yeah. You know, forget something to bury. 
bar end. Yeah. And I hear you got walking it up. That's how I feel. It is. It definitely is. It's a battle of attention, man. Right what do we give our attention to and what don't we give it to? We'll figure it out. Oh, that's how I go. <laughs> that's what we do. Accept the good, the bad, and just live. It's Can't always good to live. Hey, that's how I feel. Every day I wake up, it's a new, new birth. Yes, sir. The good rain, like you can't come out the weather. I still remember that video when you was out delivering. Yeah, in yeah, them puddles. You took your shoes off, like, you yeah. gotta make the video yeah. situation. Like, you can't cry. We know it's gonna snow, yeah. we know it's gonna yeah. rain. And that's just how life goes, you know, like, come on, something, you know, you're something good. Yeah. You know, they get on their day. They don't have nah. a, a car to walk in nah. their life, and they're walking in this car. Way better situation. I see it. Remember the old time of Wanda? Yeah. We see people yes. walking to work all the time down yeah. there Long Street. And it'd be sad sometimes. Yeah. I feel bad. <laughs> I do. Yeah. I mean, Rod was the same way. She always walked every time I would see her. I'd give her a ride to the station. Right. I'd be like, damn, I feel bad, but hey. Right. You don't complain, you know. If I'm the homeless person, or the, you know. We crackheads complain about not having enough money to get some crack, so like, I gotta figure it out. If they not complaining, like, what am I? They always get enough money to do what they want to do, like, I just gotta figure it out some more. <laughs> they turn it in bottles. Every time I go to Wegmans or Top, they in their bottles in. Yeah. Like, it's, a, it's a will, it's a way. Maybe that's why when I go to sleep, I always try to wake up a little more richer. Yeah, you are rich. Yeah, I mean, everybody think, you know, like, that's cool. We don't that, but, like, is your head good? Is your mind good? Yeah, yeah, like, is that clear? Like, yeah, there's a lot of other dynamics, too, like the, the bitch being mindset, you know? People always go for the money, like, that's, that's you know, you know? Personally, like, I, I totally, if anything, I kind of hate currency because, yeah. like, it, it runs everything. Yeah. Well, like, I don't mind stopping the small roses, yeah. you know, and find that But all. just think, if you, if you, man, you just as rich as somebody with a billion, if you got a thousand acres, you still, if you farm, you still rich, like, you can make your own food, like, people don't, you got cattle, if you got pigs, oh, yes. if you got chickens, yes. you still got currency if you wanted to sell it, but people just. See, but then it's like what you said, you need to have knowledge for it. <laughs> like, they'll look at no like, yo, there's a thousand acres, how the hell am I going to do this? And then we got other people. Like, yo, I got a thousand acres, let's start. You know, like, yeah. mindset. Yeah. It's just which side of the coin you like. You pick knowledge, you say. Yeah, hell yeah. Get your perspective. People collect rainwater, you know the rain. Yeah, that's true. That is true. They hate the rain. Some people pray for the rain to water their crops. That's true. Which one are you like? The rain? Less until if you in the desert. You know? <laughs> yeah. You pick. Nah, it's fun. That's so how I do it. Wake up, see what's going to come. Enjoy your cheers today. Today was a good day. I was like, you know what? I caught up a little bit on paperwork complete. I can start cleaning it up. That's it. Bunch of drivers. And you know, I'll be back on Wednesday if you need to put any maintenance into the. Yes, uh, I want to start at least two of them. I have the worst. Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna come. Well, I'm gonna go into Syracuse. Hopefully, I can meet up with this dude. That we're in. All right, cool, cool. I got. We got some kind of business meeting down there tomorrow, so I'm gonna go see if I can meet the right people and. Tell them about our situation, see what we do. Still keep grinding. Always. <laughs> Always. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Good. What more bands you got to do? Oh, man. We didn't. Do we not got that pressure washer that one week? We do, but it's, it's weak. Not it's, it's, it's weak. And, uh, and Amazon lets use their fucking. There's a hole they got one? It's like a, a faucet that we. Under there, they won't let us pull yeah, under there, dude? They won't let us do it. Why not? Uh, you know, Amazon. Lane, the might let us do it. Probably. Well, no, that's the lane. Don't want me to, because it's like, it'll go more easy. That's the lane if we can pressure wash when you see her in you. Oh, hell yeah. I do it for my car. I, I clean too every now and then. You just got to out with the old, you know, with the new. That's all goes. Yeah, this one, Jake. Best fleet manager in the world. I try. A million dollars. You can have them for a million dollars. But I'm gonna match your offer so you never can have them, you know? That's right. We figure out how to get Jake his own fleet hunting, hunting apparel, hunting sport, hunting tour, whatever you want to do. That's what we need to build a hunting tour. Yeah, that'd be cool as hell. A nature tour. That's what we need to do. A nature business. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, every day. I'll never get tired of going outside in the woods. I love that shit. It's always fun. You just need to learn about, you know, like, what can kill you? <laughs> yeah, that's what you need. You go out and shoot up some videos. Tell them how to, what we need, the license, what certifications we need. Uh, 
Well, so first, you, your permit, you gotta you gotta take like some course. Yeah. Uh, you're not allowed to hunt without it, mm -hmm. and then you can't even get your license without it. I forgot the name of it, but I'm sure whoever's watching, yeah. you guys probably want to know. It. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you get uh, your license after that. It just depends on what gun you want to hunt with. What are you hunting for? Yeah. Are you gonna hunt something big? Or are you gonna hunt something like deer? Yeah. You know, some some places they got like big game like. Bears, fucking moose, yeah. you know, some huge wanted to take them down, yeah. you know, as long as they threw. I got a 30 odd six, I could definitely smack a bear. <laughs> it could definitely smack anything, really. Yeah. I love it though. It's a great round, it's a great rifle, it's a savage axis. Yeah. Uh, but again, 30 odd six, uh, it got a pretty good kick to it. I love it. Yeah. It's great. It's even a good gun to just shoot, just fuck around with. Like, you know, uh, this summer I'll be practicing so I can get prepared for the uh, for next, sure. next year's hunt. Um, I'm to go for this bear because when I did go hunting and I was sitting down, I, I didn't know that much about a bear. Yeah. But I heard a growl and it was like a low pitch growl. I was like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> so I'm holding my rifle. I got a little nervous. I'm yeah. looking around. I didn't hear it. And then I heard something chattering, like clicking its teeth. Yeah. I got to my partner at towards the night. And he was like, you were near a bear. And I was like, I was what? <laughs> he was like, you're near a fucking bear. He was like, he was like, how did you her? And I was like, laid on the platter. I was like, it just, yeah. and with his teeth, he was like, that bear was warning. Yeah. I went to YouTube, did some YouTube videos, and sure enough, it said, back the fuck up. If you hear that, that's what the bear's yeah. telling you, back up. Right. But it was funny, because it's like, when I was sitting there, I didn't see that shit. Mm. Like, I, I didn't know where the fuck it was. Yeah. Like, I could have died. Yeah. <laughs> you know? How good they are, though. Yeah. They, you and they house. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> see, like, you, you know, like, uh, for bear shit, uh, bear tracks. Uh, yeah. Recent, uh, I still shit I'm learning about. Yeah. I really don't know. For sure. You know, especially if it rains, it definitely fucks up <laughs> a lot of your shit. Um, but, man, I, I got to say, that's probably one of the best experiences I've ever had. Just because when you were out there, like, yeah, there's definitely other there too. Yeah. But when you're the out and you're alone, it's dead silent. Like, yeah. you find a different a sense of peacefulness out there. Oh, that's dope. You know what I mean? I like, the silence is in insane. Like, you can sit in the spot for a few hours. Like, you don't, you're not moving. You see a chipmunk down the tree, <laughs> and he's just right next to you, and you're like, yo, I want to take a picture. Yeah. And then, you next thing you know, you realize you just squirrel, cause, or chipmunk, because guess what? I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But that's usually how it goes. For I love sure. that it's, it's fun. It's, it's a definitely a better experience that I wish everyone can get into. Nah, for sure. I don't have to go. Some people think it's just like murder. It's not nah. really murder. You're, you're only killing to sustain whatever Keep you want to eat. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, I know uh, meat. Uh, my dad eats deer meat. I like meat. deer jerky for it, sure. Oh my goodness, that is the best. Especially Venison burgers, pepper, had all that it's for sure. It is, it, it's just, and you could you could see it's a different kind of meat than you'll see in like, you know, a uh, grocery store. It's nothing like it. Exactly. We eat the processed cancer food that's poisoning us. That. We eat, but if you barely ate fresh meat and not fresh meat, you know like the difference. Same thing with like uh, vegetables, like uh, if you went to the country, yeah. I, I, I would spend this uh, farm stand that I'll see. No, I'll sure. tell you, man, they, they got like the best uh, The farm stand, you know a real, of the same size yeah. as the grocery yeah. steroid yeah. food. Like it's not, it's natural. Chicken is this big. Exactly. Uh, yeah. See, no, I, I tried to buy the chickens from the stores. Yeah. Like you could go to like a decent farmer you trust yeah. and then you know, you could ask them like, hey, what you got? Oh, yeah, that's that's the stuff. money, that's the exactly. currency. Exactly. Let me get some fresh eggs. Yup, and, and I'll tell you, it's fresh, it's fresh. Yeah. Same thing with like the corn, the strawberries, the watermelon. Yeah. It is an entirely fucking thing. Yeah, yeah. And I refuse to you know, like, I mean, yeah, I'll go to the garden. Yeah. But if I got time, I'm going out to the farms. Yeah. That's where they're really good. Not for is. sure. Honestly, it really is. 100%. I got no complaints with them. <laughs> well, we might need to start a farm. That Yo, I would you. I love that. I know a little bit about farming. <laughs> but a little bit. Sure. Anything to do with land, that's pretty much one of my things too. Just, you know, like you said, go to the city and just rent some land and, well, not even rent, own yeah. some land, you know? And just, just like, I just think like, oh, worst case, if you have all grocery stores, like, can uh, you, no Wi-Fi, you can, how long do you think the regular kids can survive without Wi-Fi or cell phone data? Like, can you go out and hunt and fish? Probably and, a week. Yeah. I give that, if, if, if they all really- <laughs> Start a fire, can yeah, you do that exactly, kind of stuff exactly. if we go back? If, I, if an asteroid comes strike down all our electricity and everything we know is regular life, how long could you survive? Me, I know I could survive. I know I'll, I could. I'll be good. <laughs> I'll For be sure. good. <laughs> Everyone else, I mean, if you don't want to do it, then I mean, I recommend y'all. Plenty of times, but I was like, yo, how do I start a fire? How do I cook? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, there, you got somewhere. Right. You, you, if you do not want to learn, then that's on you. That's 
that's your life, you know, yeah. like that I about my children before I think about myself. I think about the same thing you say, oh, what if the internet went down? Uh, all right, well, do you know the difference between poison ivy and regular, <laughs> you know, how about a berry that, you know, is good to eat one that isn't? Yeah. You know, like, you, you can't. You yeah. get on Google, the nah. internet's gone. Nah. Now it's trial and error. Yeah. <laughs> you better, you gonna eat it? Or yeah. you, you know, you're gonna be okay. Gonna be okay. Well, you know? Back to the GPS. When you had to learn the streets without GPS to know where you was going, GPS wasn't even around. Like it wasn't popular until what, like five years, ten years ago, man. Yeah, yeah. You had to really know. When I first started driving, you just had to know where you were going, <laughs> or follow a map or something, you know. Shift the directions from the, the uh, from the internet. You have it on. A <laughs> yeah, not for sure. Triple A, get the map. My mom used to have a map in the car. We drove from Tennessee to Miami off the map. Following the highways route, like you gotta learn learn the highway, like yeah. <laughs> read the signs. All right. Uh, one day. I mean, that's just you know, far a dream, but right now, I just want the financial stability to show my kids, like, hey, it's possible. Yeah, you know sure. I mean? Like, that's, that's all I want. Like, my kids, I, I can really care about myself. I mainly care about their future because, you know, like, I'm not aware. Yeah. You know, they're, I'll they're, set them up with the right now. And it's not even like, I read a lot, like, uh, you know, like, rich, they like, yeah. the famous family, whatever you think, like, in two or three generations, they kids spend all the money like from a rich dynasty, you oh, know what yeah, I'm saying? Because yeah. everybody thinking, yeah, you can pass down the ass and teach them, but if you don't teach them how to like lead, like teach them knowledge, exactly. it doesn't matter. You play, like rich kids is gonna get up too. And that's why I teach my kids, you know, like, um, you know, like I'll have them come look cause you know, like how, how long or not, I don't want them to get hurt by doing it from trial and error. Yeah. You know, like shit on YouTube and doing the thing, same thing, trial and error. I got hurt plenty of times. Hands getting stuck. I'm like, oh, fuck. <laughs> you know, me and my brother sitting there looking like, yo, this is never going to get done. <laughs> and then all we just really needed was the break. You know, just, you got to turn, like, pause, regain, you know, closure, and then back on the project. Right. You know, that's, that's what it is. Man, I'll tell you what, I'll never do that again. <laughs> it, was, it was intense, like, you know, taking apart and splitting it from the transmission, yeah. putting the brand new transmission on there, and then putting it all together, putting it, sliding it back in there, making sure it all works. Is there a check engine light? Right. Well, let's find out, right. you know, like, right. it's like trial and error. Right. Sure. But it is what it is, you know, it's, I like learning. Get you. It is. Even it's if it isn't in, you know, school. Definitely. I like learning, just trying new things is what, like, trying new things for the first time instead of, like, Doing what, like the team, like a routine, you know, just try something new, try to learn something new, yeah. like do something new. It's, it's possible to, exactly. to keep that like kid curiosity. <laughs> the fire truck is almost done. done. Almost. I mean, there's some areas a little crazy. It is what it is. I want to get that. Uh, See that. if we can get that pressure washer though. Yeah, Make it sure. Yeah, man. I think I'm gonna slide though. Appreciate you good, giving us some man. knowledge, man. <laughs> hey, Jacob, going hunting. Start the trucking business with Jacob. I mean, go to hunting business, fishing business. Come on by. Let's Fleet, have fun. <laughs> fixing cars. Jake can do it all. One of the best people I ever had working with me. It's a pleasure to have Jake on the team. Yes, sir. Yes, we sir. We got words you want to leave the guys with. A message of positivity, encouragement. Tell them what to do. A so. message of positivity for me is when you have your second thoughts, don't let it sit there for too long because then your second thoughts will be your discouragement. And me personally, just take that opportunity to sit back, think about it for a second. Again, don't dwell on it and then and then move that, you know, and then you'll find a lot of better situations if you don't second guess yourself. Hey, you heard it from Jake. Don't second guess yourself. Let's get it. Hey, everyone. I'm Sydney Tarver. I'm excited to invite you to join an exclusive community I've created just for you the People First community. This just isn't any group. It's private members only platform where you get the unique chance to communicate with me one-on-one -on -one for free. Yes, you heard that right. Direct access to me, all your burning questions answered inside the community, whatever you need. But there's more. When you join us, you'll be in the company of seven-figure guest speakers every month. We're talking about top industry leaders, rappers, online gurus, producers, health experts, entrepreneurs, ready to share their secrets to success with you. Plus, as a member, you'll gain full access to all my exclusive programs. These include comprehensive guides on how to start a trucking company, launch a rental car business, buy your first rental property, use AI, so much more. And let's not forget that we have bi-weekly Zoom calls. These aren't just any meetings, they're deep-diving mastermind sessions 
where you get called on, engaged, and involved in serious business training. If you sign up right now and lock in your membership, that's just $5 a month. That's right, the friends and family discount right now. You'll be grandfathered in this incredible rate, low rate for your life. Don't miss this opportunity to learn, grow, and network within the People First